pull on himself. Really? So we start the movie. Yes. In South Central on a Friday. Like I said, I saw it with, mm-hmm. you know, scenes of people doing things, Stanley and all them. Well, I saw them I saw them doing shit, but like... That's the, what I saw, so maybe... No, I saw that, them. but okay. like what this is claiming is that we were introduced to them as in they were saying shit okay, and they were yeah, talking I didn't and get things that. like that. Yeah. I didn't get that one. No, no. no. The rumor is, though, that the uh, the boxes, that is it um, Easel who's running with them, mm-hmm. those are supposedly the boxes that uh, Craig got accused of stealing. Oh, That's okay. what they're claiming. I don't know if that's true or not, but But if they caught the person on camera... Well, no, the idea is they only caught the back of his head. Yeah, but the back of Easel's head and the back of, you know, Craig's head is... I think maybe undertones of racism, perhaps? I don't know. Uh, Maybe. Hmm. Uh, So we get Craig waking Mm -hmm. up, trying to wake his sister Dana up, going into the house. And I think we all did this Mm. as a young man in our, in our, in our younger days... Or we grab a bowl that's way too big, that is not a cereal bowl, that is not meant to be eaten out of. You know what's funny? You say younger days, as if I don't do this occasionally now. Yeah. Where you get a salad bowl. Yeah. You get pretty much the contents of a cereal box, I'd mm-hmm. say at least three-fourths of a cereal box, mm-hmm. and just wolf it down. Yeah. Now, he, now, he does, doesn't have enough milk. But that's the thing. Okay, I want to talk about this, because this has fucking bugged me for years, all right? I understand it's more cinematic. I get it. Mm -hmm. But, especially if you've poured the giantest bowl of cereal, you know you're going to need a significant amount of milk. Oh, when he grabs it, The second the motherfucker pulls up that container of milk, he knows. He doesn't have to sit and wait and then, like, pour some... No. You know the second you pick it up, you know what? I just don't think I got enough milk. Well, you know what? For comedic purposes... But every fucking movie and TV show does it, and I hate them for it. And then Willie mm. comes in, and he does what every father has probably mm-hmm. done. Every time I'm in the kitchen, you in the kitchen. Mm-hmm. Eating up my goddamn food. Yep. My dinner was in there. You ate it. The pig's feet, you ate it. The whole thing. <laughs> this speech of just like, every time I see you, you're in the goddamn fridge. <laughs> Apparently, the man loves him some pig feet. Yeah. Because he mentioned him three times in this one speech. Good on him. Uh, then we get Mama. Pig's feet are fucking gross, but my mother used to eat them, and I still don't know why. We get Betty, his mom, Yeah. Uh, cooking everything up, mm-hmm. and he just assumes. <laughs> yeah, he just, she's just like, oh, I'm making, this, I'm making eggs, I'm making bacon, I'm making stuff. Because the weird thing is, okay, so what happens is his dad tells him to go out and take out the, the trash cans to the curb, right? Now, he does take a minute to talk to the fucking kid who keeps knocking the shit over. Little Chris. But how long was he outside? His mom had breakfast almost done. Yeah. Like, either that or she's a wizard. I don't know. Because he comes in, she's eating. He's like, oh, I didn't say anything. It was for you. Yeah. And I'm like, no. No. No, no. No, no. That's, that's, that is, that's fiction. This is the first thing uh, of fiction in this whole movie. Yeah. There is no way a mother would yeah. just cook for herself no. and only herself. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's never happened in the no history of motherdom. No chance in hell no. is that a thing. No. She's cooking up a storm mm-hmm. for her baby boy. Yeah. That, yeah, that that's never happened in the history of motherdom. So, it's just never happened. Incorrect movie. Mm-hmm. Very incorrect. Again, comedic purposes, I understand, but incorrect. Yes. Then he goes to go talk to his dad in the bathroom, mm-hmm. who is, you can hear it, <laughs> Yep, going to the washroom. Yeah. And this is, this happens twice in this film. Yeah, well, his dad, and the weird part is, is it, it happens twice, and it's like, this is the first time it's happened. I'm like, why now? What happened today that made him go, you know what? Fuck him. He's gonna watch me shit now. Yeah. I don't know where this came from, but... Did you just, like, hearing it it hit the water in the bowl, and you're like, oh, okay, all right, I get it. Yeah, and if it's anything like my dad, you do not want to be in there. Well, because, you know, there's half the scene, Coop's got his hand over his face. (sighs) You know, telling him, you know, what kind of idiot gets fired on his day off, and you Valid point. Go get a job, because if you don't contribute by the end of the month, you're out out on the street. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, tough dad talking. Yeah. Smokey comes over. Mm Mm-hmm. Craig's best friend. Uh, but is interrupted by a big worm. <laughs> it's not big worm. Uh, the local drug dealer mm. who is Smokey's supplier asking him if he's got his money. 
And basically, Smokey is smoking his. Yeah, his he's product. smoking his supply, and that's what. Like, again, you. Which don't, I'm pretty sure is rule number one. You don't. Yeah, do. you don't smoke your own supply. Yeah. You just don't. But Smokey does not strike me as the most responsible individual. No, he's trying. He's but he's a fast talker. He talks, you know, mm-hmm. big worm into not murdering him on the spot. Yeah. Uh, Debbie comes over. The I guess the the affection of Craig mm-hmm. is his crush. Mm-hmm. Well, she doesn't come over. She's running past, going to the yeah. fitness club, and they're just kind of staring like, hi, mm-hmm. Debbie. <laughs> Which happens a lot. Yep. Um, by more than just them. Mm-hmm. Uh, then we get Debo. Yeah. Who gets his own Jaws theme. <laughs> yeah. Like, you hear the bike yeah. cut, rolling up, but then you hear the... Dun, 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 dun. And Debo's then, coming. Debo's coming. Take off the watch. They take, take, all, off the take off the blade. Hide everything. Yeah. He comes over, kind of being intimidating as yeah. Debo is. He doesn't take the radio, so no. he's only after jewelry and money. Money, like you yeah. can't, like I don't think you can get money for that busted up radio. Yeah, I really don't. Fair enough. So it's money or jewelry, because mm-hmm. that's where money. Although he takes Red's bike, and they tell the story of how... yeah, but he needs a bike. Oh, fair enough. You he know? needs transportation. Yeah. So they tell the story of how Red went to go get his bike back, mm-hmm. <laughs> and then he's just, oh yeah, no problem. Come over here. Opera cuts him. Yeah. Well, apparently, like, that's the thing. The thing I don't really understand is, like, even though they all clearly fear Debo and want nothing to do with him, Smokey's over there playing dice with him. Although, it's just like, I won. He's like, no, you didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> so, I don't know why Smokey would go over there thinking he was going to walk out with Yeah, that I would have immediately walked away from fucking the game and be like, you know what? I think Debo's going to win this one, so I'm just going to take a walk. Uh, they tell the story of how Debo fucking uppercuts Red halfway across a lawn. <laughs> yeah. Then his dad comes in to confront him and then looks at him and goes, Oh, no, we're nope. getting out of here. Let's go. Well, you, what did you even think about coming down here, boy? Yeah. <laughs> they drive away. Uh, they go to Smokey's house. Mm-hmm. His mom's a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> it Although, it's weird because I, I have a question. Because she does look at the two of them, right? Now, the look she gives. The look she gives Craig. That's what I want to ask. Is it is that look, I want to fucking kill my son or I want to fuck Craig? Um... I'm thinking the latter. I'm not sure. I'm thinking the latter. Because it, it is a bit of a disgust look when she's looking at Smokey, but her eyes, her face kind of changes yeah. when she looks over at Craig. It's just, so it I, looked, I wasn't it, They don't go sure. anywhere with it. No, no, it does oh, not. No, it yeah. doesn't really go to any point. But it is, it was one of those things I'm like, I don't know which one it is. Is she disgusted or horny? Uh, so they go to the store. Mm-hmm. Uh, black owned store. Yes. But then a <laughs> Asian man appears yeah. in like a fucking... South Central, like, wear, mm-hmm. like, fucking mm-hmm. plaid shirt and fucking toque and yeah. whatever. And they bang a gong? <laughs> like, <laughs> Jesus, all right. Well, that's what you used to do. I get it. My question is, what, what movie came out first? Was it was this or Orgasmo first? No, no, no. Because it's, like, the, the opposite, like, because uh, G-Fresh from Orgasmo. Hmm, yeah. Hmm. I don't know, because you never see this guy again. No. He doesn't even have any lines in the scene. No, he's just the... Because he's not even running the store. Like, the joke is black-owned, and then you see an Asian Yeah, man, and, and that then, was the joke, and we never see the But then you see F. Gary Gray doing a cameo, yeah. where he is cleaning up the store. I guess it's implied that he owns the store. Yes. Um, but he's just cleaning up. Or is he cleaning up and I'm not sure. Asian I think man he's cleaning up, and the Asian man owns the store. I think he's just the, the hired help. Fair enough. Uh, they run into Easel, the uh, local crackhead, mm-hmm. who's just trying to like get any kind of cash or any kind of. Well, he, want, he wanted he, a, he wanted a forty. Yeah, he's like, you know, give me give me a forty for my birthday. Is it your birthday? I don't know what day is it. <laughs> and then he basically makes a deal with Smokey, like I'll come and clean your car if you buy me a forty. And they say okay. Yeah. Uh, Mrs. Parker, who is the local milf. <laughs> hey, Miss Parker. Hey, boys, and she's like wearing booty shorts. And yeah. A- Titties are out mm-hmm. doing lawn work. Yeah, she well lawn work. She's watering the lawn, yeah. like lawn work. And it, it as much as she's just standing there hot with a hose. Like that's about her her whole gimmick right now. Uh, Pastor Cleaver comes over, mm-hmm. uh, played by the iconic Bernie Mac. Yes, and he's great. Mm-hmm. And then he goes over to Miss Parker's, and then they go in the house. <laughs> yeah, um, and then the comedy ensues later. <laughs> Uh, Debo comes back again. Yep. Hide their shit. They hide their shit, and then he convinces Smokey to go rob Stanley, their na- yeah. Craig's neighbor. Stanley, who has just been, all he's been doing is just getting everybody to stay off his fucking grass. Yeah. I guess he's the quote-unquote, like, 
white black guy. Yeah, like, yeah. He wears like polo shirts. Yeah. And he talks like he's the yeah he's like a nerdy white guy. Yeah. He's their he's their Carlton. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that was the <laughs> name. I, I, mean? I could not come up with the name Carlton, but yeah, that's exactly what he is. So he leaves. They rob. They they attempt to rob. All they get is two hundred bucks because Smokey won't shut the fuck up. <laughs> they keep arguing. Apparently. Because he doesn't want to do it, but you yeah. don't say no to Debo. Yeah. So uh, Craig's the lookout, and then... Oh, well, he whistles, and then they yeah. get out there. Yeah, he's like, we got 200 bucks. Uh, I got 200 bucks. And then Debo yeah. just snatches it and takes off. Mm-hmm. Cleaver gets caught by Mr. Parker. I did not write down that guy's Tony name, Cox. but thank you. I looked it up. That dude is... He's in Bad Santa. Yeah. He's in a bunch of things. He is in everything. He's awesome. He was on, He had a really creepy and awesome role in Rescue Me. Did he? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in love with um, uh, Tommy's uh, uncle. Yeah, And yeah. just, like, very creepily, while his uncle would be sleeping, he'd just be, like, rubbing his hand. It was just very creepy. Tony Cox is a really good actor. Uh-huh. Love him. Um... So, yeah, and then it's comedic because he's a little person, you know? Mm-hmm. So it's like, oh, you come home and you find out the husband's a little person. But he's so yeah. tough. Cause he's, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's still, still going to whoop bu- bur- Bernie Mac's ass. Because he run, like, <laughs> Bernie Mac in his underwear, holding mm-hmm. his pants. You know, the, the, the typical, oh, no, the wife is caught with the, yeah, with the yeah. lover. And he's got to comedically run out with half his clothes in his hands. Mm-hmm. And it is at this point yes. where we get that speech that we played at the top mm-hmm. in, in, proper, uh, in the proper movie. Yes. Uh, where he convinces Craig to smoke weed for the first time. Mm-hmm. And Craig does it. Yep. And Didn't take much convincing. For a good 20 minutes of the film, he's all fucked up. And yeah. He's like, ugh. I'm like... No. <sighs> now listen, hey. Two what, problems I have You know, have first time I smoked weed, I was a little goofy too. But yeah. I didn't like... I didn't see blurry visions no. and like... No. Hmm. Although the first time I smoked weed, I forgot how to get home. It well, that's it fine. It Like, just, it definitely did its job. I think, again, for comedic effect, mm-hmm. it was a little bit But yeah, bit I wasn't like, blurry. I wasn't anything. I was just, like, out of it. I was just sort of walking around going, this is awesome kind of thing. I think it's trumped up a bit, you know? Yeah. Because uh, Debbie comes over and she, like, spots it in mute. Mm-hmm. She's like, are you high? It's like, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> which like, is okay. which is the response everyone's had in the history of ever as far as are you stoned when, when you are when, no chances are when you are asked if you are high you are just you you kiss your teeth yeah. or just mm, mm, no 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 one just no, no one goes you damn like nobody <laughs> nobody has ever like because usually the person asking you is the person you don't want to admit yeah. yes to basically yeah because nobody else gives a shit that's yeah. why everyone else knows but they're just and you high yeah. Uh, Willie gets home and he got bit mm-hmm. bad. You like you see it like the yeah. hole in his pants and his underwear. See what we didn't reference He's is that Willie's catcher. a dog catcher yeah. and, and he wants Craig, he wants to, be Craig a dog. to go into the long line of dog catchering. Yeah, and he has this speech. <laughs> That is fucking disturbing. Where he's like, yeah, I like, like wrestling dogs and yeah, fighting them. I like, beating them up. I like strangling dogs. Like, nothing makes you feel better than when you're strangling a dog. And my whole thing is, if that makes you feel so good, why are you so pissed off? So I'm glad you got bit on your ass. Yeah. Beating up dogs, they beat you up. You deserve it. Uh, so Smokey and Worm, Worm pretty much tells him, yeah, uh, you owe me money, mm-hmm. and if you don't give me the money, I will murder you. And, he's like, but, and then he implicates Craig, so he's well, like, I'm going to yeah, murder him as well. he's just sort of like, you know, he's like, well, we don't have the, he's like, I don't, here's oh, what so I got you money. So he runs a local, not ice cream truck, because what did that ask, he what just did that had, ask for? He, it's like a uh, like a convection truck. Yeah, um, like chips and stuff and yeah. fries. And so, no, he, yeah, he ordered, he wanted something that I'm like, do those still exist? It's like chili Fritos. Yeah. Like, can I get those anywhere? Well, no, because it's not the 90s. <laughs> But I want me some chili Fritos. <laughs> well, that just sounds good. But no. Oh wait, like, no. Sorry, we're totally in the nineties. You can totally go to the store right now. <laughs> yeah. Right. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, we but, didn't have those in Canada. Anyway. But Worm is so mad that he's just like, you know what? Shop's closed. Fuck you. Can yeah. I get my money back? No. And then he drives away. Hmm. Uh, Joy, who is Craig's girlfriend, who mm-hmm. keeps calling and hanging up this whole movie. Yeah. Comes by. Uh. <laughs> Is mad because she sees Debbie leaving. Well, yeah. Well, and she's like, she's Who's mad. This hoe? She's mad because he. Uh, no, this Debbie was later, wasn't it? No, no, no. Because Debbie was in the house. Because she's like, "Are you high?" Because she. Came oh no, over no, no. Because no, we skipped over a conversation they had. Because they had a conversation where, like, she blamed Craig for uh, being at the movie last night. Yeah. Uh, with some girl, which he yeah, wasn't, yeah. and this is where I started getting fucking Vietnam flashbacks of this kind of shit. <laughs> 
And if you know me, I had an ex exactly like this, who just, no matter what I was doing, no matter where I was, I was supposedly fucking someone else. Because Debbie comes over, she hooks up Smokey with a friend of hers, mm-hmm. which we see later in the film. Yeah. 